What's up guys? So today I want to talk about the simultaneous timelines of each moment. So for this example, I just want to talk about how the center line here is the present moment. And it always is shifting into a alternate moment whenever you have a thought, whenever you have a intuition, you know, whatever it is that happens mentally, whatever you want to call it, a belief, a impression, uh, inspiration, you know, all these are possible timelines that you can move into and shift into. So just one example, you know, if you are doing a routine every day that is not in your best interest and that is not serving you in your, in the, in your own happiness and joy, then First of all, I recommend that you get rid of it, no matter what it is, because the most important thing is your state of being and your present timeline and whatever, however you feel on that timeline is a clear indicator from your higher self that uh, if you are on a path that is going to be most healthy for your own expansion and your own consciousness and your own awareness, and your own path as a eternal, everlasting being, or it will indicate, you know, if you're having the bad feeling uh, of on that going on that timeline continuously every day and choosing that repeatedly every day that very, you know, common, very well known timeline and that very well-known uh, trajectory in your life, if you continue to choose that, that brings you more discomfort, dis-ease, sadness, uh, frustration, anger, then you are going to continuously uh, go back to that timeline. So if this timeline, say for instance, is your everyday routine, you know, for instance, say you hate your job or you hate your you going to school or you hate uh you know going to do this task that you think you are required to do because of self-imposed responsibilities and self self-imposed stress that you put on yourself but say this center line here is that timeline that you're on so in each moment you have a possibility of going to a new timeline, a new potential, a new opportunity within your mind that you think of. And what you think of can be triggered by the external circumstances, but it doesn't have to be. And I highly recommend that your own imagination is your, your own resource and you are tapping into that resource to the best of your ability so that you can utilize that resource of infinite potential within your own imagination without having to consider or relate or even uh, base your reality and base your state of being off of anything external to you. I highly recommend that. So say this is your, you know, your everyday normal grind, right? Your miserable life. Um, and each, mor each morning you wake up and you have a possibility to transition each moment you wake up and you become aware of your own thoughts and you become aware of the ever presence and, and everlasting intelligence that is pervading every moment. You go into this possibility where you're able to go into another timeline. That's very, the timeline might I add, in each moment is going to look very similar to the previous one, that the previous uh, reality that you've, you've been living, because the, the new timeline is going to be a somewhat of an echo of your previous one, but it still is, has no relationship to one or the other, because one moment you can be thinking of, you know, the, the most joyous experience of your life, and the next moment you can be terrified and fearful of your life. So these are each timelines and they can drastically change 
within a matter of a second. And what you choose and what you act on is going to really change your energetic vibratory frequency to that desired state of being and that desired trajectory and that timeline. So say you wake up and you are not going to go to work. You actually decide to quit your job and you decide to pursue something else that is going to make you feel excited and make you feel like you're on top of the world, that you are eternal, that you're expansive, that you're free, most importantly, that you want to, and this, and this thing, this timeline here that's right next to it is going to be, look very similar to that one. So instead of going to work, maybe you, uh, this is just an example, guys, like I'm not advocating you to quit your job. I'm just advocating that you follow your highest excitement and follow to your highest joy, whatever that may be. And whatever time that comes for you, because you may not be ready to follow your joy and follow your excitement yet. So take it step by step, take it moment by moment, and use your intuition and your own faith and uh, your own logic as well. So each moment that you are shifting into a new reality, you have a different state of being. So this state of being here, that's right next to you, that mundane, normal, uh, is going to look like that. Um, however, you might, you might instead, uh, for instance, this timeline might, for instance, mean that you still go to work, but you are going to stop by Starbucks on the way and get yourself a coffee. Or maybe on this timeline here, that's a little bit farther, you'll, uh, you'll go to, you know, your favorite breakfast place and pick up breakfast before you go to work and that'll make you feel better. So, but your, your primary like life and your reality will look very similar to this primary, uh, timeline and this primary trajectory and re relative experience of your consciousness. So anyway, the farther out you go out, you go out the more different your reality is going to manifest. So if you pick some timeline that's way out here, it's going to look probably a lot different than the timelines within here, the potentials within here. So if, you know, the one right next to your mundane kind of worn out, miserable timeline, will look a little bit different with like making yourself feel good and things, things that you insert into it that uh, ultimately help you feel, raise your vibration in a little bit. Um, if that is on the very close to your normal timeline, then something that is way different than your normal timeline, which might look like, uh, you call out sick for work and you go to the park or you go to, you know, anywhere. You could go to the place you've always wanted to go and like buy a ticket and buy uh, your, your travel there and go there for, you know, a week or a month or whatever. So if you choose that, that's going to, you're, that's going to send you on a trajectory, a new possible a uh, range of variable potentials that will look drastically different than your mundane timeline. And it's going to send you on a wild ride that is going to accelerate your own vibration and make you feel alive again. Because in this mundane, miserable rea uh, reality, in this timeline, that you're feeling heavy, that you're feeling dense, that you're feeling like depressed or just like completely exhausted, this reality over here is going to help you feel much more in tune with yourself, in tune with your, the, your reality and, and in charge of your own life, essentially. So the farther, you know, the more that you shift your timeline to make it look as you prefer and make it make, no, most importantly, it's not about making 
the external reality look a certain way. It's about making your internal reality and feeling a certain way because that is your indication of your vibration. So the vibration here at uh, the farthest end is going to be really different than this one. So the, the farther out you go essentially is the higher the vibration because you're so miserable in this, in this timeline here that if you are to go to another alternate reality that exists simultaneously to the one that exists now that you're so familiar with, then that's going to change your vibration. And if you choose a vibration, the more that you choose a timeline in each moment that you prefer, the more higher your vibration, the more higher your willpower, the more higher your faith in yourself is going to be. So balancing logic and faith is so important. You know, your will is your logic and your faith is your, the thing that you ingest each and every day information wise. And that is going to dictate your beliefs. And that's what uh, faith is all about, is belief system. So, uh, yeah, you know, the more that you just change your timeline in each moment, you're able to go every which way, you know. You can go any way you want to. And the I recommend that you choose the timeline that is most resonant with your highest joy and your highest freedom, no matter what it is. Because if you feel free all the time, no matter what you do or where you are, then you are ultimately the most powerful you could ever be. And that's going to look different for each and every person. You know, their feeling of freedom is going to look so much different than mine. So don't make your life a formula of freedom like that everybody else has made and has failed miserably at, which the system, the machine of our society is chewing people up and spitting them out and uh, ultimately with the preconceived idea that they are going to be successful or happy because if they follow a certain path or a certain timeline or a certain uh, way and look of things, that is completely farthest from your own truth and your higher self is going to communicate how untrue that is to you with the feeling of misery and the feeling of disgust and the feeling of uh, confusion and the feeling of depression and sadness and anger and frustration, that is your higher self communicating to you that you are actually not, you are essentially lying to yourself. You're essentially believing in a delusion, which all thoughts, ideas, and practices are within your mind. You're believing in a delusion that is not in resonance with your own highest good. So choose your delusions carefully because they will appear real, real to you. And keep in mind that everybody is crazy and that each person is in their own parallel reality that has no relationship to yours whatsoever. And you can change your timeline, your reality, your state of being, which is your timeline, which is your reality, which is your vibratory frequency in each and every moment. So continue to shift and continue to go towards the timeline that is of your highest joy. And it may be a lot different looking than what it is now because what, you, what, it, what you've been doing before is based on conditioning. And what I'm tell, telling you now is something that will decondition your mind will unlearn what you have learned throughout your life and wake you up to the reality that is right now. So take in the power of your free will and your ability to decide and choose something that feels much better for yourself in this moment. Go do it and continue to 
choose that in each and every moment. This requires you to be highly conscious. So remember to stay conscious, stay focused in your idea that you are able to choose your state of being no matter what is happening external to you and uh, be okay with how different that your life is going to look externally from the current reality you're living if you are miserable. If you are not happy with your life, then the reality that you are free and happy is going to look a lot different, but it may not look exactly the way that you think it is in your mind because what your mind is communicating to you, your subconscious, is the symbol of your highest frequency or that frequency that you most desire. So if the symbol is for you to have a Corvette and you to feel free and happy and abundant with the symbol of a Corvette in your life, then you're, you're, you may not get that Corvette and that might not be relevant for you, but you will experience something that is in that same vibratory frequency that makes you feel that same way that that Corvette does and that will give you a higher degree of feeling of sustaining that that frequency of happiness, freedom and joy. So that's what it's all about is maintaining, sustaining and choosing in each moment that happiest, fullest most expansive feeling of joy. So again, thanks for watching guys and Remember to like, subscribe, comment, and uh, get put on, press that little bell in the center on the below the subscribe button and get all my notifications for future videos. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you.